I am not surprised they have a New York State license in facials. <laughs> I've only gotten like five in my life, so. It's time for the Grand Boozing Podcast. What's up, nerds? And welcome back to another episode of the Garage Boozing Podcast. I'm your host, the man with absolutely no plan, Chase with the face for radio, Chase Sherga. On this week's episode, I am joined by two very special guests, two very good friends of mine, Zach and Alicia. I don't even know how to explain the conversation that we had because this episode was all over the place. But what a fantastic conversation it was. We're getting a little R-rated here in the past couple weeks, but I hope it's okay with you guys because it's totally okay with me because it's what we do. We come to the garage, we booze, and we talk nonsense. So wherever it goes, I'm in for it. The garage is an open book. That being said, I do want to remind you, this episode is brought to you by Drafttop. Now, if you're new here and you don't know what Drafttop is, well, let me show you. If you're watching on YouTube, you can see this visually. If not, you're going to just have to listen. But draft top is this cool little bar tool that's in my hand. And what you do with this tool, you put it right on the top of your can, go like this, pop it right on there. And then you squeeze a little bit, a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, put your back into it, you know, and then your alcohol looks like this. And if you're listening and you're not watching, basically what it does is it takes the top of your beer can off, it makes a nice smooth cut around the top. So you don't have to worry about drinking out of that tiny little hole. You don't have to worry about taking your beverage and pouring it in a red solo cup. I'll fill you up because Draft Top has you covered. It makes for a completely better drinking experience. One, you can slug your beer quicker. Two, you can get the aroma of the alcohol and it doesn't smell like an aluminum can. And three, you can slug your alcohol quicker. So get yours today at drafttop.com and don't forget to use promo code 10% dash garage boozing at checkout for 10% off. That is one zero. P-E-R-C-E-N-T dash garage boozing at checkout for 10% off your draft top. Get yours today. You won't regret it. It will literally change your whole drinking experience. Why do the dishes? Why throw away plastic cups when you can drink it right out of the can? I love me a nice draft top. I still say all the time, I wish I thought of it, but I'm so happy to have them as a sponsor. And also this episode is brought to you by Natural Light Beer. My favorite beer, the best beer, the absolute Top shelf of beers. Doesn't get better than some Natty Light or some Natty Seltzer, some Natty Daddies if you're really feeling crazy. But all right, folks, it's time to sit back, relax, kick your feet up, crack open a cold one, and if you're really feeling fruity, take a shot. Why not? Because this week's episode of the Garage Boozing Podcast starts now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Garage Boozing Podcast. Today, I am joined by two very special guests, Alicia, who's finger-fucking her phone to my left, your right if you're watching on YouTube, and we have Zach on my right to your left if you're watching on YouTube, or on YouTube, sorry. This episode is brought to you by drafttop.com and Natural and Light Beer. Light. <laughs> Natty Light, let's fucking Natty go. Light. Are we ready for my, my first... Your See? first topic? Ooh, my Hit first, me. My first question. I'm Hit ready. Me. I'm annoyed already, Hit. Chase, so let's get going. I'm annoyed already. <laughs> okay. Oh, fucking K. How did I meet you both? Um, I don't know. I actually met you through Zoe Patton. Shout out. Zoe oh, Patton. back when I was on YouTube? Back when you were on YouTube. Wow, I didn't know that. When I was what I'm probably in like... Jesus. Oh, we are on YouTube now, by the Seventh way. Seventh or eighth grade, maybe? Like a, a, a very long time ago. Did I work at JCPenney then? I don't remember. Okay, sure. I so. just remember her talking about Chase. Zoe was like one of my biggest fans back Dude, in the day. Dude, she was like a fucking OG. She was. Yeah, she was Shout a, out. No, seriously. Back Zoe, when, if you're watching this, we love you. Back when I had 60,000 subscribers on YouTube, Zoe was like buying my How many do you have now? And, well, now like I haven't been active in like six years. So like it went from like 60,000 to 30,000. But I re- hey, I re- the come re- up. Exactly. I rebranded my YouTube up. channel from Copy and Chase to Garage Boozing. So I have a Copy step and Chase. Those videos were classic. Okay, back to back, back to Zoe. Her and I were friends from probably eighth grade. And I to... actually I met you face to face. I don't think so until your parties, maybe. Mm. Oh, so she knew of me. She just no, didn't no, know. No, no, no. I knew of you, but I had never met you before. I don't think until maybe I started hanging out with Jules circa twenty fifteen, twenty sixteen. Circa the vocabulary. Yeah, I like it. I'm with what? it. What? No, I'm 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 not very smart, but I, I just don't know like, big words. I suck I just at them, like but I know, know how to use some big words in context. 
I don't really feel like circus a big word, but I'm no, but it's 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 like an elaborate. It's different. Word. Okay. It's an el- okay. elaborate word. Okay. So how do we meet? Because I have no uh, idea. I don't know. I, I'm not sure I'm, how I met. I'm you. not sure. Um, I think I met your sister before I met you. Probably. Probably. But I did. I like you more than I like your sister. So. I can't blame you there. It's a I haven't seen your cut. sister in a really long time, but she Me always either. likes my Instagram pictures. But who do you like sweet. more? I don't know. Well, I obviously, Hannah. You once. That's, she's just being nice because she knows Hannah. It's obviously me. Who do you like me more, me or Zach? Well, you have to think about this? I know you better. Okay, that's your answer then. Okay. That's so. not a solid answer, though. That means, like, yeah, what the if, fuck? It was, if it was the same amount of time, I'm the clear cut winner. Well, if you're a nice guy and he's a nice guy, how am I to judge who is nicer? All know. right, we're going mi- to we're gonna mute microphone three. Zach, welcome to the podcast. How are you? I fucking hate you. <laughs> I'm great, Chase. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. Happy to be here. I unmuted it. I'm going to need to lean forward a little bit. Yep, you got to get closer. I feel like I'm close enough to begin with. <laughs> yeah, let's talk like that. <laughs> Grow up, Zach. I'm the youngest one here. No, you're not. I'm younger than you. You're right. We talked about I that. I will be 23 on the 23rd of November. I thought, Mark you... it off in your calendar. I'm having a party at Mean Max on the 21st. Come. You just invited me now? Was that the I'm invite? inviting both of you now. Wow. I... Are you a Scorpio? I am a Sagittarius. Me too. Are you? When's your November birthday? November 28th. Oh, yeah. We just okay. went over this. I'm, I'm a Pisces. You got me a Panther shirt for my birthday one year. Do you guys remember all the bangers I used to throw at my house? Yeah, Halloween party. Well, there was like three of those. Yeah, but the Halloween party was very memorable for me. Which one? The one that me and Evan were super troopers, and Gino fell down the stairs. He was dressed as Was Joker. that when he was Joker? Yeah. This is going everywhere. I don't know what you motherfuckers <laughs> to the moon. expected. You were like, you have to be on the podcast and get drunk and tell fucked up stories. And I'm like, okay. Do you so, want to talk about the one time I fucked a dude and he came in me and then tried to eat me out after? That's fucking, wow, good for him. Actually, let's keep that in. Yes, I want to hear about that. Yeah, who was the dude? Dude, I'm not. I, I don't want to know the dude. I name can't drop. name names, but like. I would like to know. That's fucking, I Gay. And I don't mean that in like a against gay people way. I just mean in a way that like he only wanted to do it doggy and like was kind of weird and like didn't eat the booty. So like, mm. okay, can we like rewind to the fact that he came in you and then he wanted and to eat you out after? So, tried to eat me out. correct. So, my thing is, he might not be necessarily, I think he's gay, just fucked up. That's fucking weird. Like, that's your, he's just fucking weird. That's your, your, your own like mm. children. Yeah. <laughs> just don't. <laughs> I do have a question here that I was going to ask earlier. Of we started course, to talk about Lou. it and we stopped doing it. Mm-hmm. What do you guys do for a living? For a living? Yeah. You first all. Uh, I work for, I'm in the IBW. Lean like, forward a little bit. The, elect- <laughs> the IBW. The electrical <laughs> union on the contractor side. We work on the power lines. Yep. My turn. I am an esthetician. What's that mean? Esthetician. Esthetician. S. E. S. T. C. H. E. T. I. Esthetician. Esthetician. Did I say it right? Esthetician. 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 C I A N. Sometimes is it spelled with an A, but I spell it with an E. But what does that what does that entail? What does that mean? So technically, I have my New York State license in facials, full body waxing, microdermabrasion, which is a form of exfoliation, low grade chemical peels, makeup. I think that's it. I am not surprised they have a New York State license in facials. <laughs> I've only gotten like five in my life, so. But anyways, <laughs> I'm like, how? how uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. My next question is: Coronavirus in New York State. Did it affect you? And if so, how? Yes. I Not- stopped work on March 20th and went back to work on June 17th or 18th. So, did so you- I was out of work for about three and a half months or three months. I got unemployment, but it was really boring. Not it wasn't just unemployment, touching, though. Touching people's unemployment. faces or waxing people's legs or arms or fucking buttholes or whatever. Chemical peels, dermaplaning, like you name it. I couldn't do it because you couldn't take your face mask off. You still can't take your face mask off. Yes, you can. I can do facials now still. Hmm? I'm dermaplaning. I did a dermaplane my first day back in six months of doing facials. Did it feel good? What's a dermaplane? I was scared. The controlled exfoliation of the face using a sterilized scalpel. Hmm. What's it like? So, what you say, say that one more time. Remove dead skin? The Is that the idea? controlled exfoliation of the face using a sterilized scalpel, which removes your vellus hair, which is your like the baby hair, like the soft hair. 
on oh. your skin. Peach fuzz. And the, and the, yep, peach fuzz. And the dead skin. That was hot. Not really, actually. I'm pretty no. decent at my job. I promise. Sounds cool. I'm not stupid. I mean, I know I'm blonde, but like. Yeah, but you're not like the stupidest blonde I ever met. I mean, I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real. like, So did COVID affect you? Not at all. Not one. Uh-uh. Me, me either, actually. We so, got letters from the state that said we were fucking. We got letters that were signed by the grid higher ups and fucking Cuomo. And there's just less traffic on the road on my way into work in the morning. Didn't affect me at all. <laughs> all right, so now I'm just going to throw a question out there. Throw it what? Out there. So you obviously saw how uh, the state we live in, mm-hmm. New York State, mm-hmm. our governor happened to say that all bars, anyone that has a liquor license, has to close after 10 p.m. We just saw that news today. Today's Wednesday. This launches on Thursday. Wednesday. I did see 10 that. p.m. The bars have to close. What are your thoughts? My, uh, Actually, you go first. Um, I mean, I don't really... I'm not a fan of Cuomo to begin with, but at the same time, I don't go out enough to where I like care enough. So my question here is, so all anyone that has a liquor license has to close at 10 p.m. So are you saying that the Corona only comes out at 10 p.m.? Like, no. Oh, shit. It's bullshit. It, yeah, like... Fucking oh, bullshit. Oh, shit. It's night. Well, watch out for Corona. Oh, like, my God. It's nighttime so, germs. Yeah. Like, no. Germs exist 24-7. What the fuck? It's the, stupid. I agree. What does it's the, stupid as fuck. Changing the hour from midnight to 10 p.m., what does no, that No, but do? the thing is, is the bar that Abby and I go to is only open till 11, so it's like one fucking hour. What, what, is, what is the difference it's going to make? Because we end up being there until 2 or 3 o'clock anyways, whether they what close up? at 9. Or whether they close at 11. Are we ready for a question? Wow. Ready. Wedding. Ready. I'm ready. What are three things you want to do before you die? Hmm. Wow. Jump out of a plane. Um, I want to make eight figures. Have a child. I'd like to have a family. I agree with that. My answers are so easy here, it's not even funny. And uh, I'd like to buy a Lamborghini. Mm-mm. So. I want a Porsche. Porsche is easy. So your answers were? Make eight figures, buy a Lamborghini, jump out of a plane. What are your top three? Three things you want to do before you die. Hmm. But, Go to Europe, skydive, model in a fashion show. I would love to go to Europe, but model in a fashion show, oh, well, I, I get that yeah, but, for a woman, but like Europe would be cool. Skydive, uh, I don't know. I would like to kill a moose from the Yukon, too. You know what's funny? I had a top three of what I would do uh, before I die, but like I forgot what they were when we got started. Classic. Yeah. One would be make a million dollars, of course. Mm-hmm. That's easy. You can do that. Two would be, well, of course. I mean, you're right. Being a Hollywood movie would be like top three. Absolutely. Can I interject? Sure. A, a, you say you're that, and then I'll, I'll say number three. A million liquid dollars? Like liquid assets, you have a million dollars in the bank, or just a million dollars? Because, like, net worth, you There's know what I'm a saying? difference. I didn't say net worth. I'm a, a million dollars cash in hand, like, yeah. let's gotcha. go fucking cool. this, 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 that, that. I'm, I'm with that. I'm with that. Cool. Of course. Have a good time. Liquid. I'm, being liquid's the way to go. First of all, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. All right. Can, so, can we bank through the controversial topics now? What are the controversial topics? I'm wet. Send them. Me too. So, in a lot of countries, this is way in left field, by the way, a lot of countries, college is free. Should college be free in America? Yes. It doesn't matter to me either way. I think absolutely not. So I go both ways on that. I think there's some people that grow up, you know, if you come from like a underprivileged situation, I think you should have assistance for sure, 100%. So only in that case? No, not only in that case, but I think it goes, like I said, I think it goes both ways. At the same time, you know, there's options out there that, I don't know, free I think is, I don't know. Nothing is free. Right. Nothing I agree, is I agree with that. I, so, I think because, like, my experience, I've worked for everything that I've gotten to this cor- point Me too. Life. Exactly. So it's like, I don't, I'm not big into the have it for free thing. I hate that. But at the same time, I understand that some people don't have the circumstances to put themselves in better See, situations. See, I'm a big believer in, uh, you guys can get mad at me all you want, but, like, there's a lot of people that complain, oh, my God, I'm making $12 an hour doing yes. this, blah, blah, blah. Grow up and get another job. 100%. Literally, fucking dedicate okay. yourself I, to doing something okay, and get a better job. I agree here's with the that. thing: I'm, I'm an esthetician. I spent a year and a half in school to get my license, and I still make nine dollars an hour. So why because, didn't you go to school to be a lawyer? Because I'm 
why would I want to be a lawyer? I want to take care of people's skin. I agree with that. Exactly. Thank you. I see. And, I see both sides. Of I, that. I'm not being an asshole by saying that whatsoever. No, I don't. But think that's you're my being rebuttal. An asshole. That's my rebuttal. I don't, see, I, don't think I you're fully, being an I fully agree with you. Should do what you want to do. 100%. Correct. But, but at the same time, I don't think you can complain about the money you're making if what you're doing isn't a profession not that allows right. you to make money because Correct. you have but options here's my out there thing. to make People more. are still scared to come out of their houses to come get facials and dermaplanes and microderms and. Pfft. Well, that's not a reflection on you, though. That's the yeah, show. right. It's them. That, that's not a reflection on okay, what you're but making. But it's though. not my fault that I'm not busy. Right. But people are scared of coming out in public. Right. But are you saying if you're busier, you'll make more money? Like, of an, course, an hourly wage will of increase. Of course, your an hour- hourly wage will increase if I have products. Okay. Like well, if I have people to sell product to. Well, like sucks. personally, he I wish sucks. I never went to college. I went for a year Me and too. a half. Me too. I, I went for like two years, but that was I bad. went for three and a half years and no. I don't have a two-year degree. And yeah. I love telling people that because I make. What did I you make, have your degree in? Well, one, it was television and radio and then I switched it to criminal justice. Imagine me pulling you over and saying you have the no. right to remain silence. Never happening. So. I yeah. agree. No, 100%. Like, I, I went, like I said, a year and a half and I probably make more money now than most people that have four years degrees. And that's why I'm saying like. So I don't think I don't think college should be free because people that want to go to college they want to be a lawyer they want right. to be a what 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 a doctor whatever me I don't need to be a doctor but like I'll fucking sell you this and that and like still do yeah. well yeah you know like, I agree I agree it's not who you know it's what or it's not what you it know it's depends who you on know. your it's not what you know it's who you know who I you say know. that all the time 100%. I a hundred percent agree with that nothing one thousand yeah. my dad knows so many people but he my, he's hooked me my up mom so much is in time. all about networking she's like yeah. even if I meet someone at work and you don't know them I want you to meet them because exactly. networking they might come to you as a uh, client shout they out. might come to you outside of a client like shout out Evan Wendell if it wasn't for Evan Wendell I would not be in the IBW but what's that. The what? The union that I'm in. The union. The electrical okay, workers. Okay, okay. It's not what you know, it's who you know. It's who you know. If I didn't All know Evan, I wouldn't be where All I am. No, probably, it's true with any job, though. Yeah, yeah. I probably would References the military, are everything. Honestly. Oh, yeah. Even if you don't think they are, they are. I yeah. thousand percent would Listen, you might not know someone, but it, I'm, you, know, you might not know the trade, but you know someone, like, yep. they'll sign you up. Get and, you like, into the trade, that's hey, right. Absolutely. Just to get you involved, because usually if you... Supply that you have a worker for someone, you get money. Supply like, and I got, demand. Like the I got thing, compensation when I worked at European Wax Center. I got compensation for the two people that are hired underneath me. The other thing, I don't agree with the free college thing entirely because I feel like work work ethic is lost on a lot of people. These Absolutely, days. Well, yeah, because some to, people have right. incredible work ethic, like people like you yes. and me and him, and then other people that are like. Right. I want to do nothing. If very like rare. Very, hour. very like, what rare. What the fuck is the point? Like, I have your parents right. not taught you fucking shit? I don't feel bad for people that are content. No, I so, don't either because yeah. honestly, my mom taught me that you have to work hard for right. anything you Correct. fucking want. doesn't yeah. matter what the fuck it is. It could be a job. It could be a career. It could be anything. You have to work hard for it. You have to prove that you're worthy for Let people. me, uh, humans are the only species that coddles the weak. True. Deep statement. But true. No, no, for, no, for no, 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 no. True. Yeah, absolutely. Very true. And Anywhere think, else in nature, they don't coddle the weak. For sure. But no, I hate more than anything hearing I'm offended. Like, grow the fuck up. Like, who cares? Everybody's going to offend you always. Doesn't matter who I it love, is. I, I love being offended because it means I'm doing something right. See, it takes a lot for me to get offended. I agree. You have to cut real, 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 I mean, real, you can really call me deep. a trampy, slurdy, Dutty, fucking Slurdy. filthy whore, and I wouldn't care. That's like, what I'm whatever. saying. Whatever. Like, it, it, I, I don't. I can't even tell you what it would take for me to get offended, but it takes a lot. Because yeah. like, I, I can give it. I can take it. You know, like I love sending a joke, taking a joke. That's but the fine. The thing is, receiving is a different. Like you don't give a fuck. Yeah, exactly. Like, I, I can't tell you one thing that would actually make me be really offended right now. Well, because right? end of the day, like we all are secure in who we are. I'm not a pussy. Exactly. It's also I'm not worried thing. about. It's I don't security care. Security like, versus insecurity. At the end of the day, I don't care what you think about me because I know who because I am. Ex- exactly. Hundred percent. Okay. So. Oh! Oh no! Oh shit! I, oh shit! I just bought that TV. Chase, I'll buy a new TV. What'd you do? Don't my you TV literally just jumped off the table. No, that. she didn't do anything. Oh, I, I literally just saw my TV jump off there. And that's the end of the episode. Usually I would thank the guests, thank you for coming, blah, blah, blah. But to be honest with you, me, Zach, and Alicia, we got so absolutely trashed that I totally forgot to say goodbye. And I told you folks, that episode was going to be all over the place. So I hope you liked it, because I sure did. I had a hell of a time. Zach and Alicia, I would absolutely have you guys back again. So thank you guys very much for joining me on this week's episode of the Garage Boozing Podcast.
Now, everybody, please don't forget the absolute number one way to support the brand. I say it every week. I'm going to say it again. Buy some merch. Buy a hat, a hoodie, a t-shirt, whatever the hell you want. www.garageboozing.net. It's available. If you want it, we have it. And we have some new designs coming shortly. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to the podcast on all of your favorite podcast platforms, whatever you use, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Pandora, you name it. We're there. We're everywhere because we're taking the shit to the moon. And of course, don't forget to follow us on all of your favorite social media accounts. If you're not following us, you're probably missing giveaways, cool shit like that. And you can find us on any social media account at Garage Boozing as well as YouTube. Just look up the Garage Boozing podcast if you'd rather watch rather than listen. So once again, I do want to thank this week's guests, Zach and Alicia. You guys were awesome. Thank you so much for getting absolutely hammered in my garage. It's always a good time. You walk into the garage, you don't walk out sober. I'm sorry. It's just how it is. And that pretty much wraps things up. So thank you guys for tuning in every single week. Without you, none of this would be possible. And this shit's blowing up. It's going great, and it's only going to get better. We can only go up from here, just like a spaceship. You take a spaceship up to the moon. You don't go down to the core of the Earth. It doesn't happen that way. You go up to the moon. That's where we're going to go. So I'll meet you guys on the moon with a beer or eight. But yeah, other than that, thank you guys so much. And I'll see you nerds next week. Ladies, gentlemen, and nerds. Do you have what it takes to be a guest on the fastest growing, alcohol chugging, and nonsense talking podcast? Well, now is your chance. The Garage Boozing Podcast has new guests every week, and you could be one of them. Just simply log on to www.garageboozing.net, click the Be on the Show tab, and submit your information. It's that simple. Join the boozement or be a loser. Don't miss your chance because we're taking this to the moon.